Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ari and hopefully you'll stick around for a quick video. So today I want to do a little break from um, what has been a lot of very political um, videos over the past several months. And those have been for a purpose because I do believe that it's important as LGBTQ people that we remain involved in the political process, that we speak out. But I also wanted to do a little bit of a story time and some kind of trans content, I guess you would say. Uh, because I know that a lot of the people who watch this channel are trans people or um, people who are connected, have loved ones who are trans. And I want to address things that happen that come up. So, a little story time. Um, and it has to do with my hair, which might seem silly, but be patient with me. And as a side note, for some people who commented on some videos, listen, I've been doing this channel for about four years. So many of you have seen the process of um, my hair growing out and everything that I've done in that time frame. When I started videos, my hair was very short. Um, and it's taken a long time to get here where I am, four years. So when you watch my videos, please look at the time frame when it was recorded. Because I get people that sometimes now will look at a new video and they're like, oh, where did you get your wig? Um, not a wig, guys. That's my hair. I've just been growing it out for a very long time and if you watch my videos out of order, it's probably going to seem like a shocker there, okay? Um, but, uh... No, it's not a wig. Not that there's anything wrong with wigs. I've had some. Uh, they really didn't work for me. Uh, they looked terrible on me. Or maybe it was just that I wasn't used to them and didn't know what I was doing. But either way, I wasn't happy with them. But no, it's my hair. But when I started out transitioning, I didn't have a damn clue what to do with my hair. It was still incredibly short, but it was in the process of growing out. And if you've ever grown out your hair, you know that you reach this point to where it gets so irritating because you can't do anything with it. It's, you know, long enough. It, 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 it's, it's longer, but it's still too short. You can't really style it. You try to curl it, and you look like you got, you know, one of the hairstyles from Golden Girls going on. It... Oh, it does not turn out well. It's a pain. you got to be patient. But what I wanted to do was go to someone, a hairstylist, that could help me through the process. Um, and thankfully, I found a lot of very good ones to help me through that process. So I'm very thankful that they were there. But one of the um, first ones that I went to, and I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name salons because that's not the point of the video. But, um, you know, I was getting things like bangs. I was trying to figure out how to deal with a shorter hairstyle and still feel feminine. Because it was like right below my ear at best. Uh, and I still wanted to feel positive about myself because that's an important thing. Um, and, and, and so I trusted in someone who could help me through that process. And, and she did. But part of this is... Please be mindful of what you say to trans people because I very clearly remember when I was going to her, her talking on and on about drag and how where a drag show was and how I should really look at doing drag and all this stuff. 
And, you know, let me just put in a caveat. There are a lot of trans women who do drag. That is perfectly fine. Girl, you do you. Um, and I'm amazed by many of them. I don't have the dance skills that most of them have. I sure as hell don't have the makeup skills that most of them have. I wish I did. Um, but don't just assume that because someone is trans, we have any interest in doing drag. I'm not an entertainer. This is a, the, the, These videos and talking to you and things like that, and sometimes I can throw in some humor, and I love that. But I'm not an entertainer. Like, I'm not a dancer. I'm not a singer. I'm not, you know, any of those things. Um, I'm not some great makeup artist. Just because I happen to be trans does not mean that's something I'm naturally going to gravitate towards. But that was something she constantly brought up. And I tried to be polite and just kind of... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's interesting. That's, you know, because I didn't want to flat out say, why the hell are you talking to me about this? But I was trying to be nice because, you know, the woman has scissors at my head. Um, but it got really frustrating. And I think the problem is people, especially thanks to RuPaul's Drag Race, which has gotten very successful, and I have no hard feelings towards that. But it seems that some people can't, fully understand. Hold that thought. That is my husband coming in. I'm going to pause this video. Okay, so just a momentary interruption. My, I didn't do my timing very well and my husband was coming through the front door um, as I was recording. But anyway, I'm trying to remember where I was um, talking about those hair appointments. Um, yeah, the biggest thing is just don't assume because you saw one LGBTQ thing on television, you've seen drag on TV, so now you associate drag with the entire community. Because, you know, not every trans person or gay person or whatever, lesbian, bisexual, you know, queer, pansexual, whatever, we're not all interested in the same things. Uh, we're not all willing to consider um, something like drag as a possibility. I, I can appreciate drag artists, but, you know, it's important to remember that drag itself is an art form. It's an exaggeration of femininity. Um, it's, um, you know, what I do is not put on a costume. This is daily life, day in, day out. So, just be careful because sometimes when you think you're trying to show that you have some knowledge of the community, when you try to show that you're an ally, you might inadvertently show your own ignorance. And, and, and then there's nothing wrong with being ignorant of something, but take the time to learn and, and think before you speak. We all can learn that lesson. Lord knows I, I have to learn that lesson myself many times. But anyway, I did continue with that one, with that hairstylist for a short period of time. Eventually, I moved on um, to a different stylist. Worked very, very well for me for a long time. Um, now, I'm kind of in between doing my own thing here. Um, but I'm pretty good with that. Um, whether or not people think I'm doing very good with that is a different story. But, like I said, just be mindful because if you're in, the, in that industry, if you're a beautician, whatever, when a trans person comes to you, there's a really good chance that we're coming with a little bit of fear and misgiving. We never know how people are going to react to us. So, don't make that a bad experience. Make that a positive experience. Listen to your client just like you would any other situation to see what you can do to help. Be honest with us in what's going to work for us because there's a lot of us that don't know, especially in those early days of transition. I would throw out a ton of ideas because I'd seen it on someone else without knowing it completely and totally would not work for me. 
And I'm thankful that I had a lot of good beauticians over that time frame that were like, mm, no girl, don't, no. So be honest with us, be compassionate. Um, but try not to make the entire experience about us being trans. Because, especially in the early days of transition, it already feels like every single waking moment of your life is consumed by being trans. You know, you just want normalcy. So, anyway, that's a, a mixture of a story time plus... Um, you know, my own little advice there. I'm going to end the video there. Um, I'll, I'll end with my quote from Kesha, don't let the bastards get you down. If you're out there and you're in those early stages of transitioning, um, which I know there are viewers that are, be as patient as you can. Um, people are still learning. You're still learning. They're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up for every mistake you make. I look back at some of the photos of some of the the clothing and the hair and all the stuff, and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you actually went out in public looking like that. But you know what? We learn as we go. So don't look back at those shamefully. You guys have seen almost every photo from the beginning of my transition. I don't edit out the bad ones because you know what? I'm comfortable where I am right now with who I am and all of those ugly days that I felt like I had, all of those bad hair days, those what the hell did you do to your makeup girl days, they all led to just being comfortable with who I am. I'm not the greatest makeup artist. I'm not the best hairstylist. I'm just Ari. And you can take it or leave it. And give it time. You'll get there too. You'll get to that point of just accepting that, hey, whether you're cisgender or you're transgender, every damn one of us has those ugly days. We have those days when we look in the mirror and go, what the hell did I do? Why am I even getting out of bed looking like this? Why am I walk going to work? Uh, what the hell was I thinking? Everybody has it. We all have our insecurities. It doesn't, it, that's not a trans exclusive thing. If you're looking at your body and going, wow, I look horrible. Or, you know, I sometimes beat myself up because I can get a little pudge going on. I've lost some of it. Um, but guess what? That's not trans-exclusive. We all do that. You know, we work on it. We, we move on. We accept, you know, I accept that I'm getting into that middle age part and there's going to be a little middle age spread at times. It's just what happens. So, girl, just do you. Um, don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Learn as you go. Learn what makes you comfortable. And that's it. Until the next video, lots of love, guys. Keep the faith. Hold strong. And uh, we're going to barrel through whatever, cir whatever circumstance hits us until we end up in a place of comfort. Know that you're accepted. You're loved. And on this channel, you're part of the family. Lots of love, guys. Bye-bye.